Hello everyone, this is Glenda and welcome back to Creative Grandma. This is part two of pattern number LBA01 and it's called the Lace Bouquet Afghan. So we already made all of our blocks in part one so you learned how to make the block itself. So now in part two we're going to jump right in and I'm going to show you how to put your blocks together to form your rows and then I'm going to show you how to put your rows together. Now when we start this process in part two I suggest you lay your blocks out in the order that you want them. So let me show you one of my rows. So when you start putting your blocks together, you want to maybe lay them on the floor because when you start your afghan and you do not lay them out, you may end up with too many of the same color. Say when you get down to your last three rows, you may end up with too many with a yellow border or too many with a green border or too many of the same colored flowers. So it's best to lay them out and make sure that they're staggered and that the colorways are pretty uniform so you don't have maybe three of the same colors next to each other. So that is my suggestion before you start. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to jump right in and I'm going to show you how to put your blocks together into rows. Now you need to grab your white yarn and I'm using a US size I9 or 5.5 millimeter hook. So I'm going to move this afghan out of my way and I'll be right back and we'll get started putting our blocks together. So I have my first two blocks. Now again you may want to lay them out one block by seven across if you're making your afghan bigger, you want to make that decision before you start putting your actual blocks together into rows because you want it's so much easier to do the rows first and join those blocks one block by however many you want to cross. So I made my afghan seven blocks across, so I'm going to crochet seven blocks across. So it'll be one block and then I'm going to attach six more blocks and we're just going to attach them here on the side. The next one will be attached here until we get seven across. So grab your first two blocks that you want to start with and please excuse my ends. I'm trying to get the video done and I'll weave my ends in when I'm all finished. So you want to take your first two blocks and you want them right side facing. So this block here on the left is right side facing the block on the right is right side facing and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this block over upside down on top of the other block. So what's happening is you're going to have your right side spacing. So this right side is facing this right side and the top block will have the wrong side facing. So you're going to want to crochet across the edge so you might want to just stick your finger here to know this is where you're going to start and then you're going to spin that block around, pick up your block. Now let me zoom in really close. I'm going to insert my hook into that first chain of that corner. So insert your hook right into that first chain. Insert it into the first chain of the one below. And what we're doing is we're going to match our stitches exactly stitch for stitch across. The top stitch will match to the bottom stitch. I'm going to leave about a five to six inch length because I come back and I use my yarn needle to knot it and then to weave in the end. So I'm just going to pull my new color through. Now if you prefer to tie a knot here you can do so if you rather knot this before you begin so it's nice and secure you may do so. And you can do that by just taking your yarn after you pull it through and just tie your knot. If you prefer to do it that way. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to insert back into that first chain. I'm matching it from the top stitch to the bottom chain and I'm going to work a single crochet. Now I'm going to match my stitches and I'm going to work one single crochet in each chain stitch and each double crochet across. Insert into that next chain stitch of that corner. We're working in both of those chains. Insert into the matching chain stitch below. And if you notice, I'm going into the 
front loop of my work so I'm going right into the top chain and then I'm going into the top chain and the one below yarn over pull through and work a single crochet I'm over to my next double crochet and you want to go into the top loop only facing you there's a loop behind you don't want to go in both loops we want that gentle edge let me bring my crochet work back over here we're creating this gentle edge right here which lets this lay nicer so when you go through both loops it's going to pull it real tight and we don't want that we want that nice lacy open work so that's why we do not go into that other loop so let me pull my hook out and show you one more time you're just going to go into the top loop facing you of that next stitch and when you go in the stitch below you want to go into the top back loop you'll see you have two loops go into the top back loop up here on top yarn over and work a single crochet insert into the top of the next chain you're just going into the top loop into the top loop of the one below work a single crochet now we're over to our next double crochet stitch and you want to go into that top loop only and you leave the back loop unworked leave that hang down you're going to match it up to the stitch below and you're going in the back loop you're going to skip this front loop and insert your hook into the top of the back loop and work a single crochet insert into the top loop only of that next stitch leave that back stitch unworked match it up to the double crochet below and you're going into the top back loop leaving the front loop unworked so just insert under the top loop work a single crochet insert into the top loop of that next chain insert into the top loop of the one below work a single crochet you're over to your next double crochet stitch you're going into the top loop only and leaving the one below unworked match it up to the double crochet below you're going to go into the top back loop only leaving that front loop unworked insert underneath the top back loop and work a single crochet I'm just going to work a few more stitches with you insert underneath the top loop only facing you leaving that bottom back loop unworked match it to the double crochet beneath insert in underneath the top back loop only leaving that front loop unworked work a single crochet I'm going to just go ahead and work my single crochets across you're going into the top loop of the front the top loop of the back matching the stitches and working a single crochet you're going to continue working over to that next corner chain two space so go ahead and repeat across to your corner chain two space stop at your last double crochet and then I'll come back and show you how to finish crocheting your blocks together I'm over at the next corner chain two space so we're going to work right into these ending two chains of that next corner insert into the first chain insert to the matching stitch below work a single crochet insert into the next chain match it to the chain below and work a single crochet I'm going to fasten off I usually leave a long length because I like to have enough length to maneuver with my yarn needle I chain two I pull my hook up and I pull that yarn out grab that yarn and just pull down and it knots your work so this is how you join your blocks together and when you open it up you can see that beautiful nice ridging where when you just go in that one loop and not both loops it just opens it up nice and leaves that nice little decorative edge so that is how you're going to join your blocks and again you're going to join your blocks one block by however many wide you want your afghan 
So I made mine one by seven. So you would just take this and join it until you have your seven blocks across. So what you would do is you would take your next block, you would butt it right up, right side facing, right side facing, and then you're going to flip that block over on top of the other block, and you're going to repeat what we did here. So if you need help, just click back on the video and join your blocks together. Make it one block by however many wide you want. Now this video, I made my afghan seven blocks across, so I'm going to make seven blocks across, and then once you do that, you're going to repeat it for however many rows you want to go down your afghan. So mine is one by seven, and I need to do that nine times because I'm going to have nine rows. And that's why it's important to lay those blocks out on the floor if you have room and maneuver your blocks so you don't have two or three in the same area. You don't want to get down to your last two rows and find that you have all of the same color flowers. So that's why it's important to do that. So go ahead and put your blocks together into rows. Once you get all your rows put together, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to put your rows together. It's almost the same process. The only difference is jumping these joining seams. And I'll show you how to do that when we put our rows together. So I'll be right back once I get all my rows made and then I'll show you how to put your rows together. I'm back. I have all my rows put together. Now I worked ahead and I have all my rows assembled already except the last two. So what you're going to do is start with your top row of what you want your top row to look like and then you're going to take the next row of your blocks that you have put together. You're going to line it up just line those up. You have the right side facing of row one. You have the right side facing of row two. And when I show you how to put these rows together, you're going to put all the rows together in the same manner. So once you get these two rows put together, you're going to just put the next row here, flip it over, and just continue until you have them all assembled. So let's go ahead and begin. You're going to take row one and row two, right sides facing. You're going to take the bottom row and you're going to flip it upside down on top of row one or whichever row is here. And you're going to have the right side spacing. So you're going to flip so those right sides are facing each other and the wrong sides on top. We're going to do it just like we put the blocks together. We're going to start in the corner. So let me zoom up. You're going to take your hook and you're going to insert it right into that first chain stitch of that corner chain two. You're going to match it up with the first chain stitch in the block below. Now again, if you want to tie your yarn, you can do so. You can just pull that new color through. Now I'm leaving about a five or six inch length. You can pull that new color through and then you can just tie it with a knot if you would like to secure it better. So I'll just tie mine. And then we can begin. We're going to start in chain one and we're going to work in the same method we did putting our block together. You're going to insert back into that first chain stitch of that corner and work a single crochet. You're going to single crochet in each chain and each stitch across your block. So go ahead and single crochet in each double crochet and each chain stitch the way I showed you in how to put your blocks together. And when you get over to the joining seam, I want you to stop. So work over until you match up your last double crochet where the opening is right by the joining stitch. So just single crochet in each double crochet and each chain stitch across and in that last double crochet. And I'll be back and show you how to work in the space and on each side of that joining seam. I'll be right back. 
I just single crocheted in each chain stitch and each double crochet across. I'm over to that last double crochet across the top of the block and then you'll see this big opening where the corner is and now I'm going to zoom up and show you how to jump that joining seam. So when you get over to this corner space after you worked in that last double crochet you're going to look for the horizontal bar. Here is the single crochet joining stitch. It sticks up pretty high. Then there'll be this horizontal bar. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you go under both horizontal bars. Here's the top one and there's one right below it. Insert underneath both and then you're going to do the same in the one below. So you can see here is your top and there's the second one. So just insert right underneath that second horizontal bar and work a single crochet. Now you're going to jump the joining seam and you're going to look for the horizontal bar. Right here's the big opening. Here's that first double crochet. You want to go right underneath the horizontal bars above this big opening. So you can see three strands of yarn insert between the second and third. Go under the top two and then match it up to the one below. Insert underneath the top two. Again, here's the big space. Here's the first double crochet. You want to go over here right on the side of that joining seam between the second and third horizontal bar and work a single crochet. And that is how you do between the joining seam. And then we're going to pick up and then we're going to work one single crochet in each double crochet and each chain stitch across your next block until you get to that last double crochet. So I'm going to work this one with you. We're going to work it the same as the first one. So go ahead and work one single crochet in each double crochet and each chain one stitch across to the last double crochet of this next block. When you get to that last double crochet, you're going to see that big opening again. So go ahead and crochet across. I'll meet you after we work our last stitch in that last double crochet of that next block. I'll be right back. I worked across my second block. So let me zoom out just a little so you can see. We worked our first block. We did the joining seam on each side. We just crocheted across our second block. I'm going to show you one more time how to do where the joining seam is. So again, you should be over to the last double crochet and you should have single crocheted into that last stitch. Then you should see your big opening where your corner is. If you look up, here is that single crochet joining row where you joined your blocks together and then you look for those horizontal strands of yarn here. You're going to insert under the top two horizontal strands of yarn right next to that joining seam. You're going to do the same below. You're going to insert between the second and third horizontal stitch. Work a single crochet you're going to jump the seam. Here's that single crochet seam. You're going to jump over that. You're going to look for the next big corner opening. Here it is. You can stick your fingers in there if it helps. Find your spot. And then you'll look for your horizontal bars. Here is your first double crochet. You can see that's the top of the stitch. So you want to come over here above that big opening right on the side of the joining seam and you'll see three strands of yarn. You're going to go under the top two right between the second and third strand. Do the same on the one below. Here is your joining seam. Here is the first double crochet. You want to come over right above that big opening and go under between the second and third strand of yarn and work a single crochet. And that is all there is to joining your rows together. So go ahead and work one single crochet in each double crochet, each chain stitch across your block. Click back on the video if you need help work your single crochet on each side of that joining seam. Continue until you get to the end of the row and when you get over to your last block 
when you get over to this last block in this last double crochet stop I'll meet you here and then I'll show you how to end the row I'm over at the end of my row I crocheted across each block across and now I'm over to my ending corner chain too so let me zoom up and we're just going to finish putting our row together and we're going to crochet into each one of these last chain two spaces of the corner of the last block of the row so you're just going to insert into that first chain match it up to the chain below in the corner work a single crochet you're going to insert into that next chain of the corner match it up to the one below work a single crochet I fastened off I chain two one two I pull up on my hook and I pull that yarn out grab your yarn and pull down and it just creates a nice secure knot now you can end off in whichever method you prefer we all have our own little methods of doing things so let's open up our work and sorry I did not weave my ends in yet when you open it up you can see how nice and flat it lays this is my preferred way of joining together if you have a different way and you don't want to single crochet you may slip stitch them together it's all up to you and how you want to do the design I give you the basics but you can put your own twist on it so let's move on I'm going to grab my afghan so I have all my rows together except these last two that we just done together so this is your top two rows here so what you would do is you're going to work yourself down the afghan so you would take the two rows that we just put together so I'm saying these are the two rows we just put together so when you look on the floor or wherever you have your blocks you're going to take the row that you want as your third row and you're going to lay it right underneath the rows you put together you're just going to have right sides facing and then you're going to flip this row on top of this row you're just going to take that row and you're going to flip it upside down and you're going to come over to the corner block this is trying to fall off the table so sorry about that it just keeps wanting to slide let me see if I can get it over here where you can see it so we flip the row you're going to go back to that bottom corner and you're going to start in that first chain of that corner chain two space so if you need help just click back on the video where we joined row one to row two and you just keep repeating that until you get all your rows together I'm going to go ahead and put my last two rows on and then I'll be back and we'll do our border I have all my rows put together I have seven blocks across the top and I have nine rows long so I'm just going to push this up and show you the afghan so far and you can see how I changed all the colors trying to make them all just a little bit different so that's all nine rows so I'm going to go back up and we're going to start in the top right hand corner and we're going to start our border so when I get the afghan and the border all done I'm going to weave in my ends and then I'll come back and show you the finished afghan so let's grab your hook grab your white yarn now if you prefer to use a different color for the border I want to stick with the white because I want your focus to go on the center of the afghan so by using the same color of white in your border what you're doing is you're keeping your eye appeal into the center of the afghan where the focus of the afghan will be the actual colorful flower centers so let me zoom up on the right hand corner block now what we're going to do is we're going to tighten this edging up we do not want this to distort and because it's so lacy and we're using this V stitch I want to just tighten this up so with wear and tear it's not getting stretched out so what we're going to do is we're going to be working using a half double crochet stitch 
I'm going to leave about a six inch length and I'm just going to pull my new color through. Now you can tie a knot and secure that end if you wish. I do that when I'm all done with my yarn needle. I'm going to start and I'm going to chain two. The chain two counts as my first half double crochet. We're going to work a half double crochet and I'm working right over that piece of yarn from my starting strand. I'm going to yarn over, insert back into that same corner chain two space and work a half double crochet. You're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to work two more half double crochet into this same corner chain two space. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same corner chain two space, work a half double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same corner chain two space, and work your second half double crochet. So we started with the chain two, counts as the first half double crochet, we worked a half double crochet, chain two, and two half double crochet into that beginning corner chain two space. Now when you look at your block, we're going to work two half double crochet in each chain one space of each V stitch across this block until you get to that joining seam. So let's begin. Yarn over the hook insert into the next chain one space of that next v-stitch and work two half double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain one space and work your second half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain one space of that next v-stitch and work two half double crochet. There's one and there's two. We're going to work two half double crochet in each chain one space of each V stitch over to our joining seam of the next block. So I'm just going to go ahead and work my stitches. Again, you're going to work two half double crochet in the chain one space of each V stitch across the block. Yarn over, insert into that same chain one space, and you're working two half double crochet in the center of each V stitch across until you get to the joining seam of the next block. We're almost over to the joining seam. So now we're at the joining seam where we join those two blocks. So now what you want to do is you're going to yarn over and you're going to work one half double crochet into that horizontal stitch right on the right side of that joining seam. Just insert right in the top. Here's your last double crochet of that V-stitch. You want to go into that next horizontal strand of yarn work a half double crochet. Here's your joining seam. Here's your next double crochet. We want to go right into this horizontal stitch right on the other side of that joining seam. Here's the joining seam. Here's that horizontal bar of yarn. In yarn over. Insert underneath that horizontal strand of yarn right before that first double crochet of the next block and work a half double crochet. So again, we work two half double crochet, chain two, two half double crochet in our beginning corner chain two space. You work two half double crochet in the center of each V stitch across to your joining seam. We worked one half double crochet on each side of that joining seam into that horizontal stitch. It's the horizontal stitch right after the last double crochet and the horizontal stitch right before the first double crochet of that next block. So now this is going to be the start of the repeat across the top of the afghan. We're going to repeat the same process. We're going to work two half double crochet into the chain one space 
of each one of the V stitches across to your next joining seam. When you get to the joining seam, we're going to work one half double crochet on the right side and on the left side in this horizontal stitch right after that last double crochet of the block and right before the first double crochet of the next block. So this is the beginning of the repeat. So if you need help, click back on the video. You'll start at the start of the repeat and work to the end of the repeat. And you're going to work that across until you get to the corner chain two space. So let's begin. Yarn over the hook, insert into the chain one space of the next V stitch and work two half double crochet. There's one and two. Yarn over insert into the chain one space of the next V stitch and work two half double crochet. Continue working two half double crochet into the chain one space of each V stitch across this single block until you get to the joining seam. I'm going to go ahead and just work my stitches right along with you and we're working two half double crochet in each chain one space of each V stitch across to the next joining seam. Now if I'm going too fast you can pause the video until you catch up and then start the video once you're over at the joining seam. So again you're working two half double crochet into the chain one space of each V stitch across until you get to the joining seam. So here is your joining seam. So now we're going to work one half double crochet into the vertical strand of yarn right after the last double crochet of the last V stitch across the current block. You're going to yarn over insert your hook. Now I go between the second and third strand. If you look at your work there's three strands. One, two, three. I go down underneath the second one between the second and third and work my half double crochet. You're going to jump that wide seam and then you're going to work a half double crochet into this next horizontal strand on the other side of that joining seam before the first double crochet of that V stitch of the next block. Yarn over the hook, skip that big thick part of the joining seam. You're going to come over to this horizontal stitch and you're going to go between the second and third. You can see one, two, three. Insert underneath the second strand and work your half double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. You're going to repeat that process across the top of your afghan. The repeat ends here at your joining stitch. So when you do the joining stitch, continue and work two half double crochet in each chain one space of each V stitch of this last block over to this corner chain two space. So when you work your last two half double crochet in the top of this last corner block, stop there, I'll meet you there, and then I'll show you how to do your corner and work down the second side. I'm over to my corner chain two space here. You can see that we worked our pattern across the top of the afghan. Now the first thing I have to say is if your afghan is kind of gathering and you can see it dipping, then you're crocheting too tightly. You want your afghan to have this look where it's nice and it just lays flat, it's not stretched, and it's not pulled too tight. So if you see where this is pulling in the center and the top of your block is getting narrower than the bottom, then you need to loosen up those stitches. You just want it a nice, even, flat look. So let me zoom back up. This is what it should look like, just a nice flat look to your border. It blends right in. So now we're over to our corner and now we're going to start the repeat. 
it's going to be the same. The only difference is we're not chaining one to start. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to start in our corner chain two space just like we did when we started, only we do not chain. We're just going to work two half double crochet, a chain two and two half double crochet into this corner chain two space when you work that last block. So again, this is going to be the start of the repeat that you're going to repeat around the entire afghan. So you start into the corner chain two space, you're going to yarn over, insert into that corner chain two space, work two half double crochet, one and two. You're going to chain two, one, two. You're going to work two more half double crochet into that same corner chain two space, yarn over the hook, insert into that same corner chain two space, and work two half double crochet. One, and two. So we started the repeat with two half double crochet, chain two, and two half double crochet into our corner chain two space. Now we're going to work two half double crochet in each chain one space of each V stitch across to your joining seam when, you're when you go from the current block to the next block. So let's begin. Yarn over the hook, insert into that next chain one space of that next V stitch, work two half double crochet. One and two. Yarn over, insert into the chain one space of that next V-stitch, and work two half double crochet. One and two. You're going to continue working two half double crochet in the chain one space of each V-stitch across to our next joining seam. I'm going to go ahead and keep working two half double crochet in each chain one space. So I'm going to work right across my block with you. Again, if I'm going too fast, you can just pause that video until you catch up and meet me at that joining seam. And make sure you don't crochet too tightly. Keep a nice tension, not real tight, not real loose, just a nice even tension to where it lays flat on your work and you're not pulling your block too tightly. So now we're over to that joining stitch. So when you get over to the joining stitch, you're going to notice that you work your two half double crochet into the last V stitch. Here is the last double crochet of that V stitch. Here is your joining seam. You're going to do the same thing you did on the other side. You're going to find that horizontal stitch between the last double crochet and that joining seam. And there's three strands. It's hard to see them. There's one, two, one in the middle and one below. So you're going right between the second and third strand. Yarn over. You're going to insert between the second and third strand and work a half double crochet. You're going to yarn over, you're going to skip that next joining seam, and you're going to look for the next horizontal strands between the joining seam and the first double crochet of the next block. Insert between the second and third strand, you can see one, two, three. Insert underneath the second strand and work your half double crochet. And that is the end of the first part of the repeat. So you're going to go ahead and work two half double crochet into the chain one space of each V stitch of the next block. So you just worked in your joining stitch. So now you're going to work two half double crochet in the chain one space of each V stitch across to your next joining seam. And then you'll repeat one double crochet on each side of that joining seam in those horizontal stitches. So if you need help, click back on the video, start where we started with the two half double crochet in each 
chain one space of each v-stitch then work in the joining seam and you're going to repeat that across until you get to the last joining seam of the last block to the corner. Once you get to the joining seam, you'll work your two half double crochet in each chain one space across the block to your next corner. And then that is the end of the pattern and you'll click back on the video and you'll repeat from the corner, repeat the pattern to the next corner, start again at the corner, repeat to the next corner and repeat that around all sides of your afghan. I will meet you at the end of round one. So if you need help, just click back on the video to show you how to work your way across the row and then around the afghan. So when you get to the corner, you click back and start all over again from the point of the corner and work to the next corner. I'll meet you at the end of round one. I'm over at the end of round one and I'm over here where we started at the corner but I just wanted to show you the afghan with the first round of border on how it should lay nice and flat you don't want it to be stretched and you don't want it to be pulling in the center where it's gathering and shorter and narrower here if you have that problem then you're going to have to rip it out and just use a nice loose tension until your afghan lays flat. So now I'm going to go up and we're going to join round one. So let me zoom back up. So we're going to go ahead and join to the top of that beginning chain two. Count up one, two, insert into that top of that stitch, yarn over and pull through. Now we're going to start round two. Round two is a pretty simple round. Just a simple repeat. We're going to start and we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And this beginning chain three counts as your first double crochet. You're going to double crochet into that next stitch. Yarn over the hook. Insert into the top of that next half double crochet work a double crochet. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. You're going to come back, bring your hook to the front of the work. You're going to go from top to bottom down through the front loop of that last double crochet made and then you're going to take your hook out through the side of the stitch under that loop yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook. You're just creating that pico stitch to give it a little bit of a more lacy look to the final edging on this afghan. So now we're going to start the repeat. Our repeat is going to start in the corner and then we're going to work across to the next corner and then you'll come back to this point of the video and repeat from the corner across the afghan to the next corner so if you need help this is where you're going to come back and click on the video as this is the start of the repeat for round two of your border we're going to work two double crochet into this corner chain two space yarn over the hook insert into that corner chain two and work two double crochet. There's one, yarn over, insert back into that same space and work your second double crochet. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. You're going to bring your hook over to the front of your work, take it from top to bottom down through the front loop and then through the very next stitch on the side of that stitch yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook. So we worked our two double crochet and our pico stitch into that corner chain two space. So now we're going to start our repeat pattern across to the next corner. You're going to yarn over, you're going to insert into the next half double crochet stitch and you're going to work a double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next half double crochet stitch and work a double crochet. You're going to work your pico stitch. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. You're going to bring your hook around to the front of your work from top to bottom through the front loop and directly out through the side of the stitch 
You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops. That will be your repeat pattern across the side of your afghan until you get to that next corner chain two space. So let me show you just a couple more times. We're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then work our picot stitch. Yarn over, insert into the next half double crochet and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook insert into the next stitch and work a double crochet. Now we're going to work the picot stitch. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. Bring your hook back around to the front. Take your hook from top to bottom through the front loop and then directly out through the side of the stitch. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. I'll show you one more time. We're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next stitch, and work a double crochet. Now you're going to work your picot stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. Take your hook, bring it to the front of the work, from top to bottom down through that front loop and directly out through the side. Three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's all there is to the repeat. So go ahead and repeat across to your next corner chain two space. You're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then work your picot stitch of chain three and slip stitch in the top of that last double crochet made. I'll meet you at the next corner chain two space. I'm over at my corner chain two space. I worked my border across round two across the top of my afghan on the first side. This is what it should look like. Almost like a little picket fence is what it reminds me of. And then when you get to your corner chain two space, you should let me zoom back up. When you got to your corner chain two space, you should have ended with your double crochet into that last half double crochet before the chain two space. And then you end with your pico stitch on top of that last stitch. So now we're back over to the corner chain two space. So all you have to do is click back on the video and you're going to start where we started in the corner chain two space. You're going to work your corner and then you're going to work this pattern down the other side to the next corner chain two space and then you begin all over again. Just click back on that video if you need help. Repeat from the corner around to the other corner. You're going to do that around the remaining three sides and I'll meet you at the end of round two which is our final round of our afghan. I'll meet you there. I'm back. I'm over at the end of our last round, round two of our border, and our afghan is almost finished. So when you got over to your end of your afghan, you'll see here's your beginning chain three. I'm going to lay this back down. I just wanted to show you how your afghan looks. I try to zoom out, but you really can't see the detail when I zoom out. You can see it a little bit but you just have that really pretty edging around your outside of your afghan around all four sides. So now I'm going to zoom up and we're just going to join our round, fasten off, and your afghan is finished. You're going to count up to the top of that beginning chain three. You already worked your last double crochet into that last stitch around, and then you ended with your pico stitch on top. So count up to the top of that beginning chain three. One, two, three. Insert into the top of that chain. And slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. I'm going to fasten off. And I like to leave a long length because it gives me plenty of room to maneuver with my yarn needle. I chain two one, two, pull up on your hook, pull that yarn out, 
grab that strand of yarn, take your two fingers and just pull down and it knots your work. Our afghan is finished. I'm going to go ahead and lay this out and zoom out so you can see the full completed afghan. So I'll be right back and you can see the finished afghan. Our afghan is finished. This is what mine looks like. Now everyone's afghan will look a little different because it all depends on what color combinations you used in your blocks. So I hope you enjoyed this video. The PDF file is available in the description box if you'd like to follow along with that PDF pattern. It's also available on our website creativegrandma.net. Please make sure you like and share this video if you like this pattern and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss all the crocheting fun. Until next time, happy crocheting everyone!